All right, guys, welcome to part three. I'm on the back nine here at Royal Highlands Golf Club. Full 10, short par four. You just saw my tee shot. I've got about 115 straight down the hill. If you guys remember back to the previous part, if you haven't watched it, watch it up here in the corner. I had that insanely bad hole at number eight, made a quad, so I'm six over right now. Okay, par it is at 10. Hole 11, par four, about 370. I'm telling you, this course has some slopes. Another blind tee shot here. There's so many blind shots. Oh, that's right. Get lucky. No idea if that's okay. I'm gonna hit a provisional real quick. That's what I showed on the first time. Hopefully the first one's okay. I did find the first one and I've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 150. I'm gonna try to go for a big high. Fadey, either eight or nine. We'll go eight, try to fade it a lot. Came out good. Okay, after a good effort from that left thick rough, I've got about a 20 yard pitch here. Something like that. Very good, about three feet to say far. Par three, about 135, downwind, taking a pitching wedge. See if I can throw one in there close and get a stroke back. Good news is, if you got a short par five, it's under 500 yards. The bad news is it's into the wind. So I just need to make a good drive and then make a, a smart decision from there. Not exactly sure how far I have in, but I'm just gonna lay up with a five iron here. Might be able to force it there if I tried, but if you've watched part two, you'll remember uh, what happened last time I tried that, so not this time. Oh no. Well, thankfully I don't have tree trouble, really. I might have a little bit with branches, but this is tricky. You have to try to keep it under those branches, get it over a bunker, and stop it on the green off hard pan. Pretty simple. This has to have a lot of backspin on it. But most importantly, I just need to put this on the green and just try to make my par. That is unbelievable. That's like five feet. That was so good. I wouldn't call this an all-universe birdie, but it would be really satisfying. No! Oh. Just didn't commit to my line. I did not commit to my line. That's my own fault. That would have been right in the middle if I'd have committed to my line. No excuses for that. Hole 14, long par four, somewhere around 440 and it dog legs right, but this tee shot does fit my eye, so that's good. All right, I've got just what I wanted, a little 30 yard pitch. Gotta be aggressive with it, because the ball is spinning quite a bit on the greens today. And I wasn't aggressive with it. Left it short of the green. Well guys, that part will end with a double bogey, dropping me to eight over par. Hope you enjoyed this video more than I did, and I will see you guys in the final part on the next hole. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram as well. And I'll see you guys next time.